What's up, everybody? Jets Wire here today. Today, I'll be talking about um, should the New York Jets actually look into trading for Deshaun Watson? But before I start the video today, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and comment. Um, so obviously, the Deshaun Watson Houston Texans drama continues. He's still really unhappy with the Houston Texans organization, and. The New York Jets looks like a realistic landing, uh, possible realistic landing spot for Deshaun Watson. So, should the New York Jets trade for Watson? Ye yes, but you need to make sure you give them the right thing because they're obviously going to ask for a lot. Because obviously Deshaun Watson is a great quarterback. He's a top five quarterback in the NFL. You've seen him be able to be a good quarterback no matter what the receivers are. No matter who who he's playing with, obviously he's had a really rough year with the Houston Texans. First started with the Houston Texans trading to, um, DeAndre Hopkins to the Arizona Cardinals, and now he just seems really unhappy with the um, organization now with the new GM and all that. And it appears that Robert Zala and Desh I mean I meant um, Deshaun Watson would really like to um, play for n new Jets head coach uh, Robert Zala. So listen to me, I'm a big I'm a big Deshaun Watson fan. The thing is, is J.D. willing to give up all those picks for him? We're just going to see. And you have to realize this. I just said this right before. He he, he can make guys around you better. Like Deshaun Watson, he didn't have that much this year. His best wide receiver this year was probably Will Fuller and Brandon Cooks. Other than that, he had no one else. So I would take Deshaun Watson badly. I would badly take Deshaun Watson. I would love Deshaun Watson in New York. And it appears that he was visiting New York the other night, so that could maybe mean something. The thing is, also, there's some other landing spots out there for him. There's also the Dolphins, and because it appears that the Dolphins, they just don't, they just really just don't like Tua. And then you got the Patriots, who obviously need a quarterback, but trade for Deshaun Watson. Because if I was the Jets, I would trade for Deshaun Watson because who knows? Maybe his other landing spot to be on um, Miami and New England, but like we don't really want him going there because that'll just be tougher for the Jets. So maybe you can. But the thing is, you'd give up probably the second overall pick, the Seattle pick, and maybe Sam Darnold. But I would like to see if JD can get something way more easier, so we don't have to give up all these picks for him. But he, I, this is a really talented quarterback, though. This is a guy. And again, it's really it's really rare to see a guy in the middle of his prime get traded. It ha it, it happened to Peyton Manning, but he was in free agency though when he signed with the um, Denver Broncos. But like it's still the same thing though, even though you're you're leaving a team in the middle of your prime. But I would love Deshaun Watson in New York. There was a, in 2017, the Jets could have easily drafted him uh, four years ago, but the Jets they didn't decide to take a quarterback that year. That year they could have taken either Patrick Mahomes or Deshaun Watson. But instead, they selected Jamal Adams, safety. Um, but he's not on the team anymore. But a lot, a lot of Jeff fans wish we ended up um, drafting Deshaun Watson that year. But maybe we can try to, try to look into trading for him. But it might. Be, I see it as of right now. I could see it being really realistic because him wanting to play for Salah. A couple weeks ago, he was also signed. But it appears that the Texans. Are gonna interview Eric Bieniemy. That's another guy that Deshaun Watson really wanted to play for, but but it looks like Deshaun Watson's also willing to play for um, Robert Sala. So and I think he, Deshaun Watson would only get better here because you know the Texans they never had a good offensive line for him. One year, 2018 season, he got sacked about 62 times, and the Jets they would obviously have a better O line for him. And I think Michael Floyd. Our new offensive coordinator, Michael Floyd, worked really, really good with Deshaun Watson, just get him better and better. Like, he had 33 touchdowns this past year with no offensive line and not too much receivers. And he had only about seven interceptions. And he led the league in um, passing yards. I believe he had uh, 4,823, I believe. I believe. So, just a lot of Jeff fans don't want this because you're just giving, you're, you're giving up Probably the second overall pick and the 20th overall pick. And those picks are really, really good. Because with the second overall pick, you can end up tra um, drafting like a Zach Wilson or Justin Fields. 
And with the 23rd overall pick, you can look and drop them like a running back it's, if it's either Najee Harris or Travis Etienne. But the thing is, if this were to happen, I think the Jets would be focused on free agency, getting a lot of free agents. You know, I really think a lot of free agents want to come here because it's Sean Watson. And obviously a lot of defensive players are looking to play for the Jets now because of the hiring of Robert Sala. So we're probably going to hear things in the next few days. But what I'm hearing, I don't think he's going to end up being in Houston next year. So it appears he's just that unhappy with the organization. He doesn't even plan to talk to them. So if I was JD, I would give them the best offer. So I would love to see it, though. I would love to see Deshaun Watson in New York. But we just kind of, but we just got to see. So, yeah. So, um, that's really it. Uh, so comment your, um, your, um, your ideas on this, and should the Jets actually trade for Deshaun Watson this off season? If you if you do comment, give me like a good offer for him that the Jets should give them, give the Houston Texans. So yeah, that's really it. Um, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe. I said comment your ideas on this and don't forget to follow my uh, Instagram account jets underscore wire and I will see you guys in the next video